Why? My baby. I knew his water bombing. You miss Monica? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, here she is. All right, bye. Hi, baby. Hi, my love. So, okay, it's been about what did you eat for dinner? Rice, black beans, and tortillas. Now, look at any other women not, not kissing them. Because, because I love you so much. This is me, people get so wonderful, and you might win in the pool. It was for me, the same thing. Good for me. Honey, I... I'll be in bed. I, I, I want you to cook, I'll be in bed. I think I better walk because you don't know home. I have, I have to run. But I'll see you tomorrow. Hmm. In the real ceremony, the maid of honor will be handing her the bouquet because you don't hold the bouquet during the ceremony because you have the rings okay. and all of that. So, okay. so I'll take it. Mom, yeah. bring your arm down. Monica, my love. I give you this ring. I give this ring as a constant. As a content. And evident. Evident. Symbol. Symbol of my love for you. Of my love for you. And my trust and in trust, you. And my trust in you. David, my love. David, my love. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a constant as a and evident. Constant and and you. evident. Symbol of my love. Symbol of my love. For you. No, no, please don't. Okay, stop a second. If you Excuse need me. to, put it on before the knuckle and then let him finish it. Exactly. Because you could end up dropping it, okay? Oh, okay. And, and then you're going to get nervous and all of that. Oh, so, okay. Monica, Dave. Pongan los dedos así, Monica. Así. There you go. You see how easy it is that way? The Reverend says he likes long, meaningful kisses. And keep your eyes closed. Yes. Okay, 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 that's <laughs> enough. <laughs> we got it. I love you. Look at that face. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. You're my own. Okay, remember, hands need to go up if you've got something to share, okay? But you guys watch the, the news, right? Yeah. No, no, no. I got short. Okay, listen up. The man he won again. They won again. Well, I mean, 10 to 71. 110 to 71. No, no, no. 110 for the heat. Yeah. And 71 for the box. Okay, so so here's you. You and Angela can talk about the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how many group of food do we have? Bread. 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 And grain, uh huh. What group is it, this? Oh. Meat product. Meat. Meat. Meat group. Very good. Very good. Very good. Tell me some symptoms that a people can have and that people can get really sick. Um, stomach. Stomach. Headache. Headache. And what else? A shoe. Uh-huh. How do you call that? 
Cool. Hey, cool. Cool. Very good. Hey. 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 I'll try and buy you a wedding gift, and um, you guys are my best friends. Y el sábado, Adeline y yo estamos a la una. No me quiero tener esperando tan. Just be relaxed and enjoy the wedding. Yeah, I'm gonna be on Valium. ¿Lo siente bien? No está apretado. Yeah, you have to walk with those shoes though. Camina derecha. I love them. I'm just curious as to what this will do for you. No le pongo medias, no. No. Porque yo creo que va a estar más cómoda sin ellas, por si se tienen que poner las cosas estas. No, para todo, para ir al baño, para todo, without tights. Without. Then no tights. Well, that's because you just heard me say that. Okay, mom. Do those feel better, Monica? Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay
Monica, I think, has always been in love with love. She's always wanted to be married and have someone in her life. I'm just thrilled that she's happy, and he's the best. The wedding, it's their idea, it's certainly not mine. It's just theirs, and what more of a natural reaction than two people who love each other and want to be together? That's my girl, and someday I'm gonna marry her, and he would say that. Did you have other girlfriends before, Monica? No, I was single. I was single. But she had other boyfriends? Yes. And I hate it. I hate it. Yes. Tell me about it. No, I wasn't mentioning. I was jealous. Monica, how do you feel about David? Good. I'm so telling him. I had to listen to him, he has to listen to me. Do, do, do the right thing. Are you nervous about the wedding? Nope. He is. What's he nervous about? It's not about my dress. And the way I'm walking towards down the hill, looking right into his face, through his eyes, and he sees my face. The two of you will come <clears throat> to the bottom step and just stop there, not not up. Don't don't stop there. Then Dad, you'll sit down. Okay. Thank and you. then David, you'll bring Monica up here. I think the two mothers involved are very, very progressive in their thinking. Each of you is going to take a side candle. So light it what I see with the other uh, kids that Monica and David hang out with is an overprotection by the parents. Uh, to keep them wrapped up in their little cocoon. But I think both David's mother and Maria have really carved out that these kids need to have a life of their own, and they're both trying to do that. I've never seen two more beautiful people in my entire life, and I love both of you, and here's to Monica and David for a wonderful life. Monica was born 10 days shy of my 20th birthday. The pediatrician walked in, stood at the foot of my bed, said, Your child, and I'll quote, is a mongoloid, turned around and walked out. And that was it. And I was like, I guess in shock. I, I don't think it sank in. Monica's biological father was separated before Monica was a year old. We divorced, I think, around her second birthday. But for a few years, he was around occasionally. But as the years progressed, the visits were less and less frequent. It was pretty lonely except for my parents, especially my mom. But my mom was great and helped me through accepting it. I realized that I needed to make something of myself because my daughter would always have financial needs. I started working part-time at an airline and eventually worked myself up to a cruise line and ended my career as a senior vice president of that cruise line. I'm very lucky. My husband and I both work very hard and were able to afford to give her her dream wedding. Since she never went to college or had a car, we're able to at least make her wedding a very special occasion. Oh, all right, can you face me a little bit more? Try to put the ah, that's beautiful. Oh. I, I know it. I know it. I'm happy to be with her. It's all it's all about him. And all about me. This is my day. It's my life to be with my husband forever.
I, Monica, I, Monica, ask you, David, ask you, David, to be my husband, to be my husband, to the best of my ability, to my best ability, I shall try, I shall try, to be sensitive, to be sensitive, to your needs, to your needs. This day, I shall marry. I shall marry my best friend. My best friend, the one I laugh with. The one I laugh with. Live for. Live for. And shall love I, forevermore. I shall love and even more. Rings. These rings are symbols of your love and trust for and in each other. I know you've been waiting for this. You may now. <laughs> you may now kiss your most beautiful bride. Wow. No, see, look at it. No, that's right. But it's not half quad here. Yes, it is. One, two, three, four. That's what I said, but it's supposed to be all the way. And then it's in. Look at this. Look at me, baby. Now you cannot take a bow. Are you there? My little. I've never left Monica alone. I mean, it's something that I know I need to start working towards, teaching her to be more independent so that she can have a normal life. Oh, honey. Yeah. Is that a little short? No. Toes here. Toes here, my yours should be long. There, that's good, darling. That's good. Look at me. You hold it from here. You go like this, and you turn it off. Oh, okay. You My ain't moving it. Say it like a dog, not my honey. That's the square, baby. That's what I did. Yeah. Thank you. We're looking at our apartment decor, so Ooh, yes. join us. Join, join. See, you're going to see your new room soon. Mm -hmm. Come over here. 
from here over. This is your mm -hmm. side of the apartment. All of this. All this and this. So keep it clean. This is Monica and David's wing. We're all the way over here. It's okay. <laughs> I figured that much. Maybe it's okay. It's okay. This is all your terrace. Aren't you going to miss us? We'll call you. <laughs> I'm doing a whole special area for yeah. them and so they can have romantic dinners yeah. and do yeah. all that. And I'm going to throw cooking. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I have a menu for you. Oh, yeah. Have you, you, have you ever cooked at all? Never. Never? You, when you were at your house? You never cooked? No, I never cooked yet. Okay, we're going to make arroz con picadillo. Yep. Oh, good. Let's start the rice first. Yeah. Here, can you open it? Yes. No problem. Who wants to do it, Monica or David? I'll go. I'll go. Okay. It's going to be there. Yeah. Dip it in there. Yeah. You got it exactly. I think Monica and David are capable of doing a lot more independently than, than they do. And what else do we need? One teaspoon of salt. One, One teaspoon of salt. salt. Monica picks up a lot that people don't give her credit for. So does David. Okay, okay. there you go. Now mash it. Smash. Like a mashed potato. I hope that once they're in an apartment, they could go on their own and be gone little by little. It's, I think that it's doable. I think that Monica and David are very capable uh, of becoming more independent, but it's the process. What do you think? Do you think it's ready? Yes, it's ready, honey. Yep. I think it is. You guys make a great team. Yep. Sana and Joyce, I come here with all memories and orders. And we have fellows and do the emblem. The last Thursday, I did last Thursday with Janet. All the time I did that. All right, all right, Yeah, finally. So it's four papers today, and you know what to do from there, right? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. we know oh, okay. what to do. Can I tell me what to do? Call the bitch, right? Well, here's the one, stop talking. No. He talks to me. Oh. Guys, I'll be back in a minute, darling. Okay. And I'll get a human on. I have to do this. <laughs> this is difficult. Yes, it is. This is difficult. difficult. How are you doing, David? We are brothers. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh.
sickness. David, do you have a handicap? No. How about Down syndrome? Do you have Down syndrome? Sometimes I do. Sometimes. Not all the time. What do, what do people with Down syndrome look like? Maybe they like, feel like sad and old. That's, that's why that is Down syndrome. To bring up pins and blind skin, I see the death. That's what happens. That is that syndrome. In case I have no family, no parents, that is that syndrome. We all have downs. Like, I'm downs. He's downs. Like, I have a few kids are downs. Like, energy and joy are, are downs. And they're, they're adults. I feel, I feel, I feel people have jobs. Do you ever feel different? Sometimes, I do. not all the time. Tell me about it. Different or different? That I know about different. Different is tough. Okay, how you going to it? We're going to cross into 8.30. Hurry. Okay. we got to cross Charlie 8.15. Put it on. Shake it. It takes too long. I, I don't. I'm better than you. I'm faster. Can I go? No, I'm not here, sir. Go. No, you're not like that. You're not like that. No. Come on, do this. Hey, thanks guys. How are you? Hey. Mm. Hi, Mama. Hello. How are you? I help. You help. Yeah, we you did. You worked with Janet today? Yeah. No, Janet wasn't there. Uh, no, who'd you work with? We're working with Rosie. Rosie. No, no, more, more. We like more. No more. How about you? Now you drop. You can't. No. Yeah, bring it on, bring it on. Okay. Did you bring in the, the garbage? Well, done. Did you put the bag in? Done. Yes. And you put it in the white fence area? Done. Yes. And you brought the recycling? Done. Yes. Excellent. Monica was always talking about wanting to do something with her friends that got married. And Maria, as always, put everything together. They always have a dream to live on their own, but it's just not going to happen. It's not reality. And maybe I'm underestimating them, but I don't ever envision them working. You know, they, they, they just they have a hard time. Let's go. I think they're here. That's the guess. Let's go. Come on. Okay. 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 For me, I want to be a cartoon artist. I always color a lot. Oh, yeah. I want to be the voice of the cartoon. <laughs> but first, I want to get married. And I want a kid to get married. <laughs> And then you can pay me rent. I guess why? Give the bike twenty five hundred dollars. And this is the Where's my rent? That's a rent. That's all I get. That's all I get. Yep. Yeah. Once we move, we're gonna be living here with them. You know, we're gonna have to have a baby. Why? Future. You know, we're gonna have plastic. 
Nem, van jó, hogy csak az üvegi. Publix, that supermarket, I, I can't bear that. Because I've seen some of the ways the people treat these kids. When David was born, they said that I could give him up for adoption. I didn't want to do that. I said, can I just take him home? My husband left me when he was only six months. So it's kind of hard. I was only 20. I didn't know what Down syndrome was. I didn't know the outcome. I didn't know what was going to happen in the future. But then I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be able to raise David on my own and it's gonna be okay. You know, I would give myself that, you know, pep talk all the time. I sent him to the best school to learn how to read and practice his math and things. He did a lot of speech therapy, so his development was really good. I think that he would feel happy that he has a job. He could do it, but I wouldn't want him to have to associate with society. The thought of Monica or David running across anyone who would as much as look at them the wrong way drives me crazy. That's why I like them with us, because I feel like I can shelter them from all of that. There's not much else I can give them except safety and happiness. You're going to work at Publix? No. No. I might say no. I'll be having my wife. Yeah. You're okay. not going to be. Who said no? No, I said no because she needs some help. Mother, no. To sign an application to, to get you into it is not easy. It is too much, too much hassle. It's too, too tough. And that's OK with you? Yeah, it's OK. developmental disabilities have needs and desires, they are very much like everyone else. And so I think parents need to be as aware of the contraception needs of a person with an intellectual disability as to the need of their other children. I love you. I wish I had a baby like you. Yeah. Everybody thinks about having a child when they get married, but they can. They're kids themselves at heart. So can you imagine? No. You want a home? Yeah, I love you. I would love for them to be able to have a child, but they've kind of been discouraged, if you will, because they see the work It's a very difficult thing, very difficult thing. Because you do, you know, you, they do have a lot of love to give. Uh, and that's something that's always going to be unfulfilled. Yeah. 
Italian shake. What cake? For my birthday. It, Oh yeah, did you show me? Butterfly. Yeah, it, this is the big five three. Yep. No, the big three five. No, I put them. I reversed no, them. It's five it's three. Thirty five. No, it's fifty three. You want an eye fifty three and thirty five? Okay. You put it to fifty three. That's not my. That's not my age. I'm thirty five. Okay. Can you take a joke? Okay, I can take a joke. <laughs> He never called me out on his body, or if it's goodness or doing us. He never, he never called me. He's not worth it. Who? Oh? Um, he's my weird guy. His name is George uh, Anton. He's like my last name. I have, I have sister. Today it's a, it's a birthday. She's six, um, she's sixteen. Happy birthday, Jackie. Have good birthday. David, what happened last night? Mommy was running. His face, he started to cry. I started crying. Then I come to her, tell me what happened. I want to know what happened. Then I explained to her, don't go for that. Be as a woman, yeah. tell your parents what happened to you. He's useless, unfair, and that makes me very angry. At the moment I came here, I started to write this. And it says, dear father, you never call me at my birthday. And you always make me cry. Forever more think what you did to me. I don't like you no more. You you broke my heart. Love your daughter Monica. Did you help Monica write it? No, by herself. What if he reads the letter and wants to see you? I don't have to. That's my choice. I gotta do. I gotta do it. What's that, baby? It's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm helping you. No, no. Take a bite of salt, okay? Because. Yeah. How do we know? Yeah, man. Don't know, man. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, go. I'm done. That's it. Honey, honey, it's okay. Say. No. Mommy and I will be trying to call him, right? Mommy and I go to one minute to tell a lot. In the worst one, I go miss our friends. Like Jennifer, Joshua, Charlie, and Angie, Tim and Susie, and his girlfriend. And his girlfriend. You know, Mommy and I going to be nervous to move. Let's go take this stuff to the car. Need some help? Yes, please. Thank you, Anna. She's so 
into her routine that she refuses to realize that she's not sleeping here today. And it's not connecting. It's not that she doesn't want to realize it. It's just not connecting that we're definitely not here tonight. Don't start putting stuff away again. Let's comb your hair. Get some shoes on and get going. David? Yeah. Yes? No, 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 How are we gonna sleep naked? <coughs> I don't know what uh, happened my things, like my pajamas, all this and that. So I don't know what to, what to know. Is everybody ready? I'm ready. Okay, say goodbye. I did. Yeah, me too. Clean after me. It's my bathroom. I know it's a bathroom. I've taken on a move, renovation of the place I'm living in. My husband retiring. My daughter and her husband dropping out of their program because of the move. Good morning. David Foster? Yes, please. And in the middle of all of these problems, David has been diagnosed with diabetes. He almost died in the hospital. His blood sugar was well up over 700, where his eyes would roll over in the back of his head, and he became incoherent. And we panicked. Okay, so David has to have his blood sugar read before every meal. He has to get shots four times a day. 91. No, no. I got 901. That's good. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, yeah, take, take course. Does it hurt, David? No. I'm a bad man. It's been a huge change. Now the David is 100% dependent upon us.
đây Nói gì em ơi Nói gì em ơi Nói Hey, look at you, Arsene. Oh. Why are you say no more? Hey, no, 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 Hi, Monica. Hello. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Since I last time I saw you, any mm -hmm. news? He has a diabetes. He has a he loves. He's got a short day, morning and night, and before he goes to bed, because. Because he needs to eat less carbs. And if he gets weak, he has to have a snack. You told me that last time we met. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you still worried about him? A little bit. A little bit. But mm -hmm. to me, he's not going to die. He ain't going to. Because to me, he's not going to go to. He's not going to coma. He's not going to die. He's eating healthy. He's eating mm -hmm. well. Because of his weight. No, he, he lost weight this mm -hmm. morning. I, yes. I gained. Do you like helping him? To well, do? to me, I like to help him so many times. When we met last time, we also talked about what you would like to do in the future. Mm -hmm. So yeah. can we talk about that again? Yeah. Okay. But let's say when your mom is not around to take care of you, when she gets old, uh, you know, and well, she can take care of what, what would you like to do? Well, to me, I, I, don't, I, I don't like what she said. Uh, you don't like to think about it? Mm -hmm. There's different mm -hmm. options. You could share uh, an apartment with another couple. You could live with another family member. Mm -hmm. uh, have you thought about it? Well, to me, I'm not quite ready for us yet to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to stay with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would it's like something to that too. enters my mind at least once a day. What will happen when I'm not there? Everybody has the same concerns. Are they going to be accepting? Uh, are they going to be okay? Um, are they going to be treated differently? If I die, what's going to happen? That is the main thing that everybody worries about. Now I'm going to start crying. Everybody's going to have their own lives. Monica and David are our lives. That's the difference. Monica and David are Bob's and my life. Everything we do revolves around them. 
and and it's by choice it's not because we, we actually enjoy hanging out with them and so I certainly don't expect that everyone uh, or anyone else is going to be able to dedicate themselves or want to dedicate themselves to Monica and David. You don't want to think about those things. You, th you know that they have family, that they're going to care for them, but is it going to be the same? I don't want her to go through any of that, you know, because she went through a lot. I can't do this. Yes. Yeah. Time for your shot. Let's go. Yeah, do this. Well. No, I'm gonna do it. Hey, do I do it yourself? Yes. Is it enough? 925. Very good. Let me see, you got it on five? Yes. Awesome. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Thank you. David shocked me. And I was somewhat skeptical, to be quite frank about it, but he did an excellent job. You do it with them two or three or four times, and then they'll do it on their own. And you could see he was so proud of it. He was, uh, you know, he was so proud of the fact that he did that by himself. He still needs guidance to understand how much insulin to take, but he's capable of doing it, and we shouldn't treat him like he's not. Nice to meet you, David. I'm Monica. Monica, nice yeah. to meet you too. Nice to meet you. So. And Monica, David, you want to work? Yes. Why do you want to work? Because I want to think how be stuck. Because I want to get out there and work harder. What What type of work do you think you'd like to do? I, I like to do it. You envelope, you make copies. Tell you what you to people we eat them all. They did work at their last ADT, helping out the secretary at, at the program. Mm -hmm. Monica would answer the phones, and they would make copies and stuff like that. So I think that's kind of what they have in mind. The jobs vary. We have people that work part-time, or we have people that work full-time. Mm -hmm. I have two people that work at the Lowe's Hotel on South Beach. Mm -hmm. One young man, he's a pool attendant. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, he called me a couple of nights ago. He's been nominated for the third time for Employee of the Year. Isn't that wonderful? And I remember his mom saying to me that, well, I don't know if he'll be able to work full time. I said, well, let's try it. We won't know until sure. we try it. Once that person starts working and earning their own money, you see such a difference. Sure. Ultimately, what it is, it's about independence. Mm -hmm. Independence with the support. Right. So, Monica, mm -hmm. you have yeah. any questions for me? Well, like, for is it, how can I do, like, if you have to walk from, from this building to get to the person to give us the, like, if you handle the, the letter, and you have to give it to the person? Well, that's depending on where you end up working. Well, ultimately, you, yeah. you get to find your way around. Right. That's it? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm yeah. fine. You're fine? Yeah. No questions? He would be no. good at pool attendant. Because yeah. <laughs> he's a good swimmer. Right. Great swimmer. You ever yeah. been to the Lowe's Hotel? It's a great place to work. Sleepy head. Did you sleep okay? I did.
Did you hear the thunder? You heard the thunder, didn't you? Mm -hmm. But you didn't. No, I didn't. Bob came in to check on you guys, and she was awake, and you were asleep. <laughs> As always. Mm hmm? Yeah. And you stayed up late again last night. Who was the one who called me at midnight? I did. By mistake. But, but I was going to try to, to do the to, to type on the An email. Mm -hmm. On the email. And you hit the phone instead. I hit the phone. <gasps> oh, my Lord. Good morning, Bear. Mm. But it's 9.30. You got to have breakfast, so let's get going. Okay, what do you guys want? We've got... Okay, you know As parents, we want people to look upon okay. our children with special needs like anyone else. We want them to be treated with respect and with dignity and to not stare at them and whatever. And yet, because we want to protect them so much, we are typically the first ones who treat them poorly by subconsciously denying them their rights to have a normal life. Yeah. yeah. Let's get it ready. It's just been a very tough year. It's been a very, very, very tough year. We'll get there. I'm going back to my Sunday Herald, guys. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, my dad. Well, give me nice. Give me nice. Give me nice. Give me nice. Her mom, your mom, her mom likes the Patriots. Your mom likes the Patriots? Your mom, her mom don't like the Patriots. She doesn't? No. What does she like? No, no. Why do she like the mole? No, your Giants. Did she like the Giants? Yeah. Yeah, she beat the Patriots already. Yeah, they beat them. Yeah. 17 to 14. That's right. Yeah. Good game, huh? It is a good game. Yeah. So do you like the Celtics? What about yeah. basketball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. Yeah. They, they'll come back to win. You think? Yeah, they can come back. I should be back home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We need to fold and sort and price. Okay, so we have these bags, but we put stamps on one side. If you don't mind just stamping the other side with the logo, that would be awesome. Oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> However you like it, upside down, on the side, there's no such thing as wrong. David, you come with me. If you could write down the price for me, that would be great. This is a very classic designer, Givenchy. I think this should be a hundred, right? A hundred, please. And don't worry about doing the dot zero zero. Just write 100, 200. Okay. It's just easier for people to read. 
Hello, Got it. Perfect. Oh, doesn't matter. Okay, this is 50. This is 50. I need another. Got it. Tag. Thank you, my dear. Oh, now I'm walking out. No, no, no. Honey, you don't want to make the bag. I'll do it again. Yeah, that's good. I'm a, I'm a genius. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I want to do something sexy. It's kind of hard for guys to dress sexy. Oops. You're not exactly sexy, honey. And I'm not sexy. No, she's got it. Oh. She's... Yeah, baby. She's... Why is this one? Part of this one. This one? That's a good choice. I, I want him to be surprised. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is going to look. Monica, David, do these glasses look familiar? I have no clue. You have no clue? Honey. Oh, it's a pink glass. Yes. From when? From when, though? From your wedding. Oh, these are the ones you guys toasted with. These are the champagne glasses you guys toasted with. Oh. On your wedding night. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And many more. Honey, good for you. Monica, do you love David? Yeah. Like, the age of the bed. What is the age of the bed? Like, if you love him, he's from the age of the side of the, uh, from the inch of the bed, inch of the camera light. It's like this. You have everything you want right now? No, that's it. Yeah. If you could have one more wonderful thing in your life, what would it be? Same thing, Monica. No. No. Am I ready for this, eh? Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I was waiting to husband and wife. Okay, sure. I love you too much. Maybe this baby. Can everybody come along and say? Oh, my, just sing. Pardon me? Just sing. That is too much. Can everybody say? Yes, give me just a moment, okay? Oh my God, get ready. Oh my God. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, dear Monica and David. Happy anniversary to you. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. I feel, I feel, I feel people have jobs. Do you ever feel different? Sometimes, not all the time. Tell me about it. Different or different? That I don't know about different. Different is tough. Okay, how you going to do it? We're gonna cross into 8.30. Huh. We're gonna cross Charlie 8.15. Put it on. Shake it. It takes too long. I, I don't.
I'm better than you. I'm faster. Can I go? No, I'm not easy. Go. No, you're not a guy. You're not a guy. No. Come on, do this. I did you. Hey, thanks, guys. How are you? Hey. Mm. Hi, Mama. Hello. How are you? Hello. You helped. Yeah, we you did. You worked with Janet today? Yeah. No, Janet wasn't there. No? Who'd you work with? We're working with Rosie. Rosie. No, no, more, more. We more. No more. How about you? Now you drop. You can't. No. Did you bring in the, the garbage? Oh, darn. Did you put the bag in? Darn. Yes. And you put it in the white fence area? Darn. Yes. And you brought the recycle in? Darn. Yes. Excellent. Monica was always talking about wanting to do something with her friends that got married. And Maria, as always, put everything together. They always have a dream to live on their own, but it's just not going to happen. It's not reality. And maybe I'm underestimating them, but I don't ever envision them working. You know, they, they, they just they have a hard time. I think they're here. That's the girls. Hi. 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 I'm going to show you Guess what? What? Well, I don't know. Guess what? 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 Guess her last Thursday, I did last Thursday with Janet. Only time I did that. Hurrah, right, Robert! Here I am. Finally. So it's four papers today, and you know what to do from there, right? Yeah, that's Yeah, we know what okay. to do. Can I tell me what to do? Call the bitch, right? Was it the one that talked to me? No. He talked to me. No. Okay. 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 And I want to have you do this. <laughs> it's difficult. Yes, it is. This is difficult. difficult. It is. How do you do it, David? We have brought this. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This is too tight. You know, this is not going to fit. It's not going to fit. Kidding? I guess they're just trying to get rid of these Rose, you don't have a for these. Okay, with the plastic ones. Okay. Let's do the big ones. Give me a little bit of that. Yes. Tell me about handicap. What does that mean? It means when someone is in a wheelchair, you cannot walk. And you cannot sit, right? Like, and then you go. Okay. When someone's in a wheelchair, you cannot stand up. They cannot hear. They can't talk. They can eat, but they cannot talk or hear. They cannot stand up because they're in a wheelchair. And it, they cannot hear. They don't sign language to see what is going on, why are the <laughs> handicap? Because it's, it's quite sickness. David, do you have a handicap? No. 
How about Down syndrome? Do you have Down syndrome? Sometimes I do. Sometimes. Not all the time. What do, what do people with Down syndrome look like? Maybe when you feel like sad and old. That's down syndrome. It's a big Something story. It's about remembering to clean up after yourself. Good, good. Put your hand under the pump. That way you're not wasting half the bottle of conditioner. Okay, pretty soon you guys have to start getting dressed. Hello. So. She is dressed. It's out of the bag. I had to do oh, to rest. What? She's fighting with me. No, no, hey. This is possible. Part of the job. Yeah, but you're not supposed to clean after me. It's my bathroom. I know it's a bathroom. No. Wait, it's just me, honey. I'm not. Let me show you. Wait, look at me, man. I've taken on a move, renovation of the place I'm living in, my husband retiring, my daughter and her husband dropping out of their program because of the move. Good morning. Yes, please. And in the middle of all of these problems, David has been diagnosed with diabetes. He almost died in the hospital. His blood sugar was well up over 700, where his eyes would roll over in the back of his head, and he became incoherent. And we panicked. Okay, so now David has to have his blood sugar read before every meal. He has to get shots four times a day. 91. No, no. Not a run. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, that tickles. Does it hurt, David? No. I'm a bath man. It's been a huge change. Now the David is 100% dependent upon us. Obviously, people with developmental disabilities have needs and desires. They are very much like everyone else. And so I think parents need to be as aware of the contraception needs of a person with an intellectual disability as to the need of their other children. I love you. I wish I had a baby like you. Yeah. Everybody thinks about having a child when they get married, but they can. They're kids themselves at heart. So can you imagine? No. You want a home? Yeah, I love you. I would love for them to be able to have a child, but they've kind of been discouraged, if you will, because they see the work It's a very difficult thing, very difficult thing. Because you do, you know, you, they do have a lot of love to give. Uh, and that's something that's always going to be unfulfilled.
We are in shape. What cake? For my body. It, for oh yeah, did you show me? The, yeah, it, this is the big 5-3. Yep. No, the big 3-5. No, I put them, I reversed no, them, it's 5-3. No, it's 35. No, it's 53. You were, and I'm 53, I'm 35. Oh, okay. He was into 53, that's not my, that's not my age. I'm 35. Okay. Can you take a joke? Okay, I can take a joke. <laughs> He never called me out on his body, or if it's goodness or doing us. He never, he never called me. He's not worth it. Who? Oh? Um, he's my real dad. His name is George uh, Anton. He's like my last name. What do look like? Maybe like he feels like sad and old. That's that's like that sad syndrome. She big up pins blind, skin I see, the death. That's what happens. That is that syndrome. And guess I'm not family, no parents. That is that syndrome. We all have downs. Like I'm downs. He's downs. Like I feel kids are downs. Like and she enjoyed it, but or don't. And they were adults. I feel, I feel, I feel people have jobs. Do you ever feel different? Sometimes, I do. not all the time. Tell me about it. Different or different? That I don't know about different. Different is tough. Okay, how you gonna do it? We're gonna cross Angie 8.30. Hurry. We gotta cross Charlie 8.15. Put it on. Shake it. It takes too long. I, I don't. I'm better than you. I'm faster. Can go? No, I'm not here, sir. Go. No, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. No. Come on, do this. I need you. Hey, thanks, guys. How are you? Hey. Mm. Hi, Mama. Hello. How are you? Hello. You helped. Yeah, we did. You worked with Janet today? Yeah. No, Janet wasn't there. No? no? Who'd you work with? We're working with Rosie. Rosie. No, no, more, more. We like more. No more. How about you? Now you drop. You can't. No. Here. Oh. Oh. Wait, I bring out bread. Come on. Did you bring in the, the garbage? Oh, done. Put the bag in? Done. Yes. And you put it in the white fence area? Done. Yes. And you brought the recycling? Done. Yes. Excellent. Monica was always talking about wanting to do something with her friends that got married. And Maria, as always, put everything together. They always have a dream to live on their own, but it's just not going to happen. It's not reality. And maybe I'm on the right. Living is tough. Living is tough. Okay, how you going to do it? We're going to cross Angel 8.30. Hurry. We've got to cross Charlie 8.15. Put it on. Shake it. It takes too long. I, I don't. I'm better than you. I'm faster. Can go? No, I'm not here, sir. Go. No, you're going to die. You're going to die. No. Come on, do this. I need you. Hey, thanks, guys. How are you? Hey. Mm. Hi, Mama. Hello. How are you? Hello. 
Yeah. You helped. Yeah, we did. You worked with Janet today? Yeah. No, Janet wasn't there. Uh, no? Who'd you work with? We're working with Rosie. Rosie. No, no, more, more. We like more. No more. How about you? Now you drop. You can't. No. Did you bring in the, the garbage? What garbage? Did you put the bag in? Garbage. Yes. And you put it in the white fence area? Garbage. Yes. And you brought the recycle in? Garbage. Yes. Excellent. Monica was always talking about wanting to do something with her friends that got married. And Maria, as always, put everything together. They always have a dream to live on their own, but it's just not going to happen. It's not reality. And maybe I'm underestimating them, but I don't ever envision them working. You know, they, they, they just they have a hard time. I think they're here. That's the girls. Hi. 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 I will be happy with the guy center, with doing the flowers, the doors, and I do it, everything. For me, I want to be a cartoon artist. I always color a lot. Yeah. I want to be the voice of the cartoons. But first, I want to get married, and I want a kid to get married. Either be happy or out of the way of the we're coming. Oops. I'm sorry. It's not about being sorry. It's about remembering to clean up after yourself. Oh, okay. You put your hand under the pump. That way you're not wasting half the bottle of conditioner. Okay, pretty soon you guys have to start getting dressed. Hello. Jeez. To us. Because I have the bag. I don't know how to rest. She's fighting with me. No, no, hey. Maybe I'm fighting with me. No, no, no. Maybe I'm fighting with me. 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 No. Bueno, ¿estás bien, Javier? Ay, no. I've taken on a move, renovation of the place I'm living in, my husband retiring, my daughter and her husband dropping out of their program because of the move. Good morning. David Mustard? Yes, please. And in the middle, of all of these problems. David has been diagnosed with diabetes. He almost died in the hospital. And his blood sugar was well up over 700, where his eyes would roll over in the back of his head, and he became incoherent. And we panicked. Okay, so now David has to have his blood sugar read before every meal. He has to get shots four times a day. 91. Not a one. Last one. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Take us. Does it hurt, David? No. I'm a bad man. It's been a huge change. Now the David is 100% dependent upon us. You know, 
I would give myself that, you know, pep talk all the time. I sent him to the best school to learn how to read and practice his math and things. He did a lot of speech therapy. So his development was really good. I think that he would feel happy that he has a job. He could do it, but I wouldn't want him to have to associate with society. The thought of Monica or David running across anyone who would as much as look at them the wrong way drives me crazy. That's why I like them with us, because I feel like I can shelter them from all of that. There's not much else I can give them except safety and happiness. You're going to work at Publix? No. No. I might say no. I'll be having my wife. Yeah. You're not going to be. Who said no? No, I said no because she needs some help. Mother, no. To sign an application to, to get you into it is not easy. It is too much, too much hassle. It's too, too tough. And that's OK with you? Yeah, it's OK. with developmental disabilities have needs and desires, they are very much like everyone else. And so I think parents need to be as aware of the contraception needs of a person with an intellectual disability as to the need of their other children. I love you. I wish I had a baby like you. Yeah. Everybody thinks about having a child when they get married, but they can. They're kids themselves at heart. So can you imagine? No. You want a home? Yeah, I love it. I would love for them to be able to have a child, but they've kind of been discouraged, if you will, because they see the work It's a very difficult thing, very difficult thing. Because you do, you know, you, they do. Monica and David are very capable uh, of becoming more independent, but it's the process. What do you think? Do you think it's ready? Yes, it's ready, Yep. I think it is. You guys make a great team. Yep. Sana and Joyce, I come here with all members in orders. And we have fellows and do the emblem. The last Thursday, I did last Thursday with Janet. All the time I did that. All right, all right, Finally. So it's four papers today, and you know what to do from there, right? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. we know oh, okay. what to do. Can I tell me what to do? Call the bitch, right? What is the one? Stop talking. No. He talks to me. Oh. Guys, I'll be back in a minute, darling. Okay. And I'll get a human on her head do this. <laughs> this is difficult. Yes, it is. This is difficult. difficult. How do you do it, David? We are brothers. Uh-oh. 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 This is too tight. You know, this is not going to fit. It's not going to fit. Kidding? I guess they're just trying to get rid of these no, emeralds. No, they don't have problems with these. 
Okay, to the plastic ones. Wait. Just to the big ones. Give me a little bit of Yes. You cannot walk and you cannot sit. Right? Like, and then you go, okay. When someone's in a wheelchair, you cannot stand up. They cannot heal. They can't talk. They can eat, but they cannot talk or heal. They cannot stand up because they're in a wheelchair. And it, they cannot heal. Language. Anyone else. We want them to be treated with respect and with dignity and to not stare at them and whatever. And yet, because we want to protect them so much, we are typically the first ones who treat them poorly by subconsciously denying them their rights to have a normal life. Yeah. Get it ready. It's just been a very tough year. It's been a very, very, very tough year. We'll get there. I'm going back to my Sunday Herald guys. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, my dad. Go, give me nice. Give me nice. You guys go downstairs? Yes. Have a good night. Okay. Good time. Here you go. Come on down, right? Okay. Hello. Where am I from? Yeah. And I'm from Boston. Oh, my Boston. Yeah. Home of the Red Sox. Oh, wow. I love that thing. The the Patriots. Patriots. And the yeah. Patriots. And the Patriots. Your mom, your mom, your mom likes the Patriots. Your mom likes the Patriots. Her mom don't like the Patriots. She doesn't? No. What does she like? No, no. Like these, she likes the mold. No, your Giants. Did she like the Giants? Yeah. Yeah, she beat the Patriots already. Yeah, they beat them. Yeah. 17 to 14. That's right. Yeah. Good game, huh? It is good game. Yeah. So, do you like the Celtics? What about yeah. basketball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. Yeah. They, they'll come back to win. You think? Yeah, they can come back. Actually, what in this book? Talking to people. Go super cool. He's not gonna die. He ain't going to, cause he told me he's not gonna go. He's not going to coma. He's not gonna die. He's eating healthy. He's eating mm -hmm. well. Cause of his weight. Nothing. He lost weight this mm -hmm. morning. I yes. I gained. Do you like helping him? To, well, to me, I need to help him so many times. When we met last time, we also talked about what you would like to do in the future. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. can we talk about that again? Yeah. Okay. Let's say when your mom is not around to take care of you, when she gets old, uh, you know, and well, she can take care of what, what would you like to do? Well, to me, I, I, don't, I, I don't like what she said. Uh, you don't like to think old, about it? Mm -hmm. There's different mm -hmm. options. You could share uh, an apartment with another couple. You could live with another family member. Mm -hmm. uh, have you thought about it? Well, to me, I'm not quite ready for us yet. To do that. Mm -hmm. 
I, I just wanted to stay with us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I would It's like something that enters my mind at least once a day. What will happen when I'm not there? Everybody has the same concerns. Are they going to be accepting? Uh, are they going to be okay? Um, are they going to be treated differently? If I die, what's going to happen? That is the main thing that everybody worries about. Now I'm going to start crying. Everybody's going to have their own lives. Monica and David are our lives. That's the difference. Monica and David are Bob's and my life. Everything we do revolves around them. And, and it's by choice. It's not because we, we actually enjoy hanging out with them. And so I certainly don't expect that everyone uh, or anyone else is going to be able to dedicate themselves or want to dedicate themselves to Monica and David. You don't want to think about those things. If you know that they have family, that they're going to care for them, but is it going to be the same? I don't want her to go through any of that, you know, because she went through a lot. I can't do this. Yes. Yeah. Time for your shot. Let's go. Yeah, do this. Well. No, I'll get back. No, no. Hey, do you want to do it yourself? Yes. I guess in shock. I, I don't think it sank in. Monica's biological father. We separated before Monica was a year old. We divorced, I think, around her second birthday. But for a few years, he was around occasionally. But as the years progressed, the visits were less and less frequent. It was pretty lonely, except for my parents, especially my mom. But my mom was great and helped me through accepting it. I realized that I needed to make something of myself because my daughter would always have financial needs. I started working part-time at an airline and eventually worked myself up to a cruise line and ended my career as a senior vice president of that cruise line. I'm very lucky. My husband and I both worked very hard and were able to afford to give her her dream wedding. Since she never went to college or had a car, we're able to at least make her wedding a very special occasion. It's all, it's all about him, you know, all about me. This is my day, it's my life, to be with my husband forever. I, Monica, I, Monica, ask you, David, ask you, David, to be my husband, to be my husband, to the best of my ability, to my best ability, I shall try, I shall try, to be sensitive, to be sensitive, to your needs, to your needs, 
this day, I shall marry. I shall marry my best friend. My best friend. The one I laugh with. The one I. How are you doing, David? We are brothers. Uh oh. Uh, uh, hold on. This is too tight. And this is not gonna. Fit. It's not gonna fit. I guess they're just trying to get rid of these no, examples. No, they don't have problems with these. Okay, so the plastic ones. Wait. Okay. Just do the big ones. Give me a little bit of that. Yes. Tell me about handicap. What does that mean? It means when someone is in a wheelchair, you cannot walk and you cannot sit. Right? Like, and then you go. When someone's in a wheelchair, you cannot stand up. They cannot hear. They can't talk. They can eat, but they cannot talk or hear. They cannot stand up because they're in a wheelchair. And it, they cannot hear their own sign language to see what is going on. Why are they handicapped? Because it's, it's quite sickness. David, do you have a handicap? No. How about Down syndrome? Do you have Down syndrome? Sometimes I do. Sometimes. Not all the time. What do, what do people with Down syndrome look like? Maybe they feel like sad and old. That's, that's why that is Down syndrome. So they got pins blind, skin I see, the deaf. That's what happens. Now they die single. In case I have no family, no parents, now they die single. We all have downs. Like I'm downs, he's downs. Like I have a few kids or downs. Like and she and Charlie are, are downs. And they're, and they're adults. A few, a few, a few people have jobs. Do you ever feel different? Sometimes, I do. not all the time. Tell me about it. Different or different? That I know about different. Different is tough. Okay, how you going to do it? We're gonna cut into eight thirty. We gotta cross Charlie eight fifteen. Put it on. Shake it. You take too long. Okay, this is fifty. This is fifty. I need another. Got it. Tag. Thank you, my dear. Oh, now I'm walking out. No, 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 honey, you don't want to put the bag. I'll do it again. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm genius. Oh, I want to do something sexy. It's kind of hard for guys to dress sexy. Oops. I'm not sexy as you, honey. I'm not sexy. Look at me. She's got it. She's She's strong. Part of this one. This one? Okay. That's a good choice. I want him to be surprised. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is going to look. Monica, David, do these glasses look familiar? I have no clue. You have no clue? Honey. Oh, it's a big glass. Yes. From when? From when, though? From your wedding. Oh, these, are the these, are the, you guys these are the champagne glasses you guys toasted with. Oh. On your wedding night. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And many more. Monica, do you love David? Yeah. Like the inch. Of the bed. What is the end of the bed? Like, if you love him, it's from 
the age of the son of the, uh, from the age of the bird, the age of the camera. It's like this. You have everything you want right now? No, that's it. Yeah. If you could have one more wonderful thing in your life, what would it be? Same thing, Monica. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, um, okay, yeah. I was ready to husband and wife. Okay. I love you too much. Okay. Look at this, man. Everybody come on and say. Okay. Oh, my God. Pardon me? Percent. Yes, you want. Percent. Yes, give me just a moment, okay? Oh my God. I started working part time at an airline, and eventually worked myself up to a cruise line, and ended my career as a senior vice president of that cruise line. I'm very lucky. My husband and I both worked very hard, and were able to afford to give her her dream wedding. Since she never went to college or had a car, we're able to at least make her wedding a very special occasion. It's all, it's all about him, and all about me. This is my day, it's my life, to be with my husband forever. I, Monica, I, Monica, ask you, David, ask you, David, to be my husband, to be my husband, to the best of my ability, to my best ability, I shall try, I shall try, to be sensitive, to be sensitive, to your needs, to your needs. This day, I shall marry, I shall marry, my best friend, my best friend, the one I laugh with, the one I laugh with, live for, live for, and shall love forevermore, I shall love and evermore. These rings are symbols of your love and trust for and in each other. I know you've been waiting for this. You may now, you may now kiss your most beautiful bride. No, no, that's, look at it. No, that's right. It's not quite it. Yes, it is. One, two, three, four.